What's up, guys? Episode four, Metabolic Life, coming at you. Today, I wanna talk about uh, leadership styles and management styles. And my particular management style that I implement here at the Metabolic Franchise Group. Now, I think this advice will apply regardless of business. So whether you're actually operating a metabolic studio or you're operating an insurance agency, a retail store, a consulting agency, that part doesn't necessarily matter the industry too often i hear you know today's worker millennials zennials whatever you want to call them uh they don't want to work they say they don't want to work they got all these things going on uh they don't want to commit i get some of that i get some of that uh many of these individuals have watched their parents go through two of the worst stock market crashes and and then following that recessions or depressions uh, in the history of our country, during these these crashes and these setbacks in our economy, we've watched our parents just get slaughtered. We watched them get fired in the tens of thousands from large companies that used to put all these people on pensions and take care of them, and, and those days are gone. So the days of trust and respect from the employer down are gone. Why would we then expect them to come into the workplace and be so trusting up to an employer today. And I just think that that is an antiquated idea. I think it, uh, I think it is disrespectful to employees of all ages, not just millennials, but employees of all ages who look at the workforce and know that at any given time, their employer could just dump them and move on to someone cheaper or someone or automate their job. I mean, these are the concerns of the individual. And it's why I think we've seen such a hard move to the creative fields and to the entrepreneurial fields, the things that can't be automated, the things that are really tough to find and get rid of in organizations. And it's why so many individuals have side jobs and freelancing jobs. And I think for employers that can become very frustrating. So what happens is employers clamp down, leaders clamp down, managers clamp down on their staff. And you know, I pay you this, so I demand this work out of you. And, and that doesn't work. It actually is counterintuitive to what really good employees actually want today. So when you're thinking of how to manage your staff and when you're thinking about one high quality driven individual who matches the culture of your business is worth 10 people that fill a job description. I firmly believe that. I will overinvest every single day, every single day in the right person versus someone who matches a function that I need in my organization. You know, they ask, well, I, you know, how does, what's the culture? How, what's the manager your style here? And here's my answer. We have a decentralized structure. I don't micromanage. I don't track time. I don't care. All I care about are results. You're not gonna need to punch in. You're not gonna need to send me your time card because I don't care. I care that you get results. If you get your work done best from 4 a.m. to 6 a.m., and then in the middle of the day, you need to go get your oil changed or do something with your kid or take go grocery shopping, I don't care. That doesn't matter to me. What I care is you get your work done. It's challenging because as a manager, you have to have trust and respect for your people, but you also, and this is the hardest thing for managers, you have to hold your people accountable to the things that you need to get them done. That's what most managers don't wanna do. They don't want to actually lay the hammer down when their people don't get things done. So for you out there who are managers, maybe you're new to managing, maybe you're struggling, here's my recommendation. Give your people some elbow room. Give them room to do their job. Let them find the solutions themselves. Be open to the ideas that they bring to the table, even if they're different from your preconceived notion. But if they don't do that work, if they don't come with solutions, if they haven't thought through it, if they haven't put the time in because they've been taking advantage of the fact that you've given them space to execute, then you have to hold them accountable. And for all of you out there who are at the staff level, when your manager puts you in a position where you have personal freedom but are responsible for execution, do not be surprised when the hammer comes down on you when you don't hold up your end of the bargain. 
And in that type of relationship, a relationship based on results, we're able to have open minds, open eyes to new opportunities. We're able to listen to each other because at the end of the day, what we're interested in is results and success and not, and not stamping some time card and getting paid. If you are interested in learning more about Metabolic, go to trainmetabolic.com. If you enjoy this video, if you enjoy this content, pound that like button, subscribe to this channel. There's lots more coming as we document the journey of this business. And if you disagree with my management style, if you disagree with this type or, or you see something better, leave it in the comments below. I would love to hear from you. I want to hear what type of management style works best for you and in what situation. Either way, guys, I appreciate the fact that you're here, that you're spending time with me. I hope this helped you get better. I love you. I'm out of here. Peace!